Yeah, I, I don't get it. <clears throat> I don't fucking get it. Look at that. Guess we lost our best friends, okay? Well... I guess it's perfectly normal, right? That we lose our fucking best friend like that, just because Miss... Well, I kind of pissed at her for some reason, but, you know... What's the use of being pissed against a dead person, right? Um, yeah, so I'm the Flying Iguana. Uh, I've realized that this game is actually gonna get very scary. And very, very dark, so I wanted you guys to be able to, like, see my expressions while I'm playing this game, because there's so much fu- there's so much- so much fucked up shit, like, licking the, uh, the, the fingers of, of that little preschool girl, then there's that fucking best friend that just was in depression since she was born, and who doesn't have any parents or shit like that. I, I don't understand. She was living alone in her house. Why was she alone in her house? Oh, anyway, I mean, it's a good thing it's not likely that these kind of scenarios would happen. Then again, like, well, I'm saying that the whole, the whole game is a bit surreal now. It actually, it actually went from normal to completely surreal in like five fucking seconds. Like, it's incredible. It's incredible. Anyway, um, we're here to play the game and. I'm a pussy. I'll be the first to admit that, so... What we're gonna do here is... Put these glasses on. Yeah! And, uh, we're just gonna... Um, yeah, I guess we're just gonna play the game. And, uh, I'll be drinking some coffee also. I'm also looking often on the right side. It's because I have this... Well, you can see maybe in the reflection of the glasses, but... Uh, I always put my OBS stream on my second screen. So sometimes I, I look at it to see if everything is recording. So yeah, let's fucking play this game. Once I get into the characters, don't worry. So, um, oh, and by the way, about the characters, oh fuck, it did, yeah, I remember. The situation was, we killed our best friend, we... We, apparently Monica is some kind of fucking system admin for our lives. We got the pink girl to be to get very fucking interested in us, if you see what I mean. I got glasses to avoid flashes of light because that scares the shit out of me. I'm like a fucking. Sometimes I feel like I'm a fucking deer, you know. Just wait. Yeah, we're just gonna continue the game. It's uh, a literature club. Yay! Oh god. Literature. Should I keep uh, doing the voices or? I don't know, because half of these this dialogue is going to be the same, right? So I'm just going to use my normal voice. That sounds kind of dull. How many members do you have so far? Oh, it's going to fucking freak out, isn't it? Um, we used to have five, but she died. <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing, but there are only three of us so far. Oh, God, it's going to fuck up. I hate the little fucking glitches. Those little glitches, they just, they just put so much fear into me. Okay. Well, I can see that, but it's really not- I'm so afraid that she's gonna do some fucked up shit, you know? And it's this- it's this anticipation that is killing me right now. Maybe if I drink more coffee, I'll be more calm. Good coffee. Pretty cool. Uh, literature can be anything. Reading, writing, poetry. I mean, one of my members even keep, uh, keeps her manga collection in the club room. Wait, really? Yeah, it's funny, right? She always insists that manga is literature, too. I mean, she's not wrong, I guess. And besides, a member's a member, right? Did Monica say she? Hmm... Hey, Avocado. By any chance, are you still looking for a club to join? Ah! Uh, I mean, I guess so, but... In that case... Is there any chance you could do me a big favor? Oh man. I want to ask you to join, but... If you could, at the very least, visit my club, it would make me very happy. Please. Well, I can't say no to Monica, that's for sure. Unless she starts fucking malfunctioning like she fucking does. Well, I guess I have no reason to refuse. Besides, how could I ever refuse someone like Monica? Yeah, that's what I thought. Sure, I guess I could check it out. So, I was thinking about this, guys. And I have a new strategy. I have a new strategy! And basically... What we're gonna do is, we're gonna stick to one chick at the time, so the others... Because I feel like it's a, some kind of elimination game. 
Can you actually save them? Can someone in the comments fucking tell me? I, I keep on recording them back to back, these episodes, because I, I just... I don't know, I'm so engrossed in the story. And, um... Yeah, so, sure, I guess I could check it out. Ah, awesome! She's gonna explode, please don't. I don't wanna look at her eyes, she, she freaks me out. You're really sweet, Avocado, you know that? Well, look, avocados are not known for to be sweet, but maybe oily. It's nothing, really. Shall we go, then? I'll look for the materials another time. You're more important. Damn right I am. Damn fucking right I am. And that's the day marks the day I sold my soul to Monica and her irresistible smile. I wonder if the pink-haired girl, like, does Natsumi, Natsuka, Natsu, yeah, Natsumi, does she, does she keep the, the, the attraction towards you? Because in that case, I'm gonna have to redo everything. I timidly follow Monica across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for the third year classes and activities. Monica, full of energy, swings by the, by the way, about, um, what was her name? Matsumi, Yatsumi, Sayunsi, Sayutsi. Fuck, what was her name? Satsumi. I think that was her name. It was Satsumi! I'm fucking sure of it. And uh, I don't feel bad about her death because I think she was pretty far gone by the time she died, you know? She was kind of looking for the first excuse to kill herself, you know? I mean, is it really Avocado's fault? Plus, we're in the, in the past, so I don't think it counts anymore. And she's been erased in the timeline, so... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, what the fuck happened there? Is that normal, or is it my computer just bugging out, guys? I'm, I'm getting chills. I need more coffee. Okay, I'm back! Oh god, why is everything so fucking fucked up? And I brought a guest with me. Oh my god. It's just a game! It's just a game, Iguana! You can fucking do this, you got glasses! <laughs> you do those flashlights, uh, do nothing to me, okay? Eh? A guest? Dude, if there's a gift, I'm fucking dead. I'm so glad I have glasses so you guys can't notice that I'm actually keeping my eyes very closed. Seriously? You brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Don't be mean, uh, Natsuki. But anyway, welcome to the club, Avocado. God, guys, I'm just terrified to just click on. I, I'm not gonna lie. All words escape me in this situation. This club. It's full of incredibly cute girls. Damn right it is. Damn right. Yeah, plus literature is more of a girl club thing, right? I kind of want to save right now because... God, it, it fucking freaks me out, these little... These... I'm actually... Ah... Uh... Why do I play horror games? Every time I just... Oh. I'm gonna play with one eye open. You're Monica's boyfriend, right? Oh! What? No, I'm not. Natsuki, the girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. Kinda sucks that I have to reread all of these, but... I guess that's the point of... A game called Groundhog Day? No, it's not. Uh, by the way, this game is free, guys. You can totally download it if you if you feel like not spoiling it for yourselves. Um, her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. What is a first year? I don't know. Uh, anyway, this is Natsuki, energetic as usual. God, I'm so fucking scared that there's gonna be something so fucked up that's just gonna happen and just scare the shit out of me. Like, I don't know. There's an eyeball that's just gonna pop out of Yumi's mouth or, or, or Yuri's mouth or Monica's just gonna fucking collapse and just spark open her, her rib cage or something. Or like, Natsumi is just gonna fucking have her head just decapitated or something like that. This, like, you can do so much with shocking imagery and you don't even have to be that good at at, at drawing anything, really. I'm 
playing through the... And this is Yuri, the vice president. It's nice to meet you. Wow, Yuri, you really gone up that, uh, the echelon, right? Okay, well. It's nice to meet you. I think I, I think if I just, just angle correctly. The, fuck. And this, God, I hate this music. This music is driving me crazy too. This, this music. Okay. Okay. Yuri, who appears comparable, comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with someone like Mitsuki. Yeah, it's nice to meet both of you. So I ran into an avocado in his classroom and he decided to come check out the club. Isn't that great? Wait, Monica! Did I tell you to let me know in advance before you brought anyone new? I was going to, well, you know. Sorry, sorry. I didn't forget that, I, I, but I just happened to run into him. Oh yeah, because she... The first time it was... What's her name? <laughs> you may have deleted the file! The, the timeline is affecting even me, guys. Um, but I just happened to run into him. In that case, I should at least make some tea, right? So I guess it's every time... When do these glitch happen. By the way, I checked out the file and the scene where like um, uh, <laughs> depression girl dies, I guess. And uh, there's a whole Python script over there to like make the game go back to normal, but I don't know how to activate it. I, I mean, I checked it out and like basically there's, there's Monica that tells me that just tell it just goes fucking robotic on us. Uh, I might add the scene in this video, but basically, Monica fucking tells you that she uh, it will be much easier to just delete her from the timeline instead of just keep on going it I, instead of restoring it and yeah, and apparently she just does it according to the printf and my limited knowledge of Python. By the way, this game is coded in Python, which is smooth as fuck, man. I thought Python was not very efficient. Yeah, that would be great. Why don't you come sit down, Avocado? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. It is forming a satanic cross. I am so fucking scared right now. I am... Oh, man. Poor coffee. I haven't gotten anything done! ANYTHING! Meanwhile, Monica and Natsuki sit across from each other. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Monica. I'm just gonna get a heart attack. That's it, there's no other explanation here. On how this will proceed. So, I know you didn't really plan on coming here. Close eyes, open. But we'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? Close eyes, open. As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. I'm surprised that there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. No, I got some help from this imaginary girl, actually. Um, she doesn't exist anymore, but yeah, you could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. How are you gonna... Well... You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes uh, school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, Natsuki? Please, Natsuki, don't be dead. Okay. Well, I guess... I think it just... The game has gone back to normal, but I know it's just... I can feel it! It's like a fucking survival skill, okay? It's just programmed in me that I know that something bad is gonna happen. Such different goals, all interested in the same goal. <laughs> Monica must have worked really hard just to find these two. Yuri returns to the table, carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot in the middle. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? 
Don't worry, the teacher gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh, I guess. <laughs> Don't let it yourself get intimidated. Yuri just trying to impress you. Huh? That's not... Insulted, Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be the pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yokata. Yuri... <laughs> Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. So, Avocado, what kind of things do you like to read? Or... No, I'm just kidding. Um, well, uh, considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga. I mutter quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. Looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. You know what? We're gonna go with Monica next. Sorry, I just, I just keep on thinking of what, 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 what could happen, what would happen. No, not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking of seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of the teacup of her finger. My favorites are usually novels built deep in complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amusing to me and telling a good story in the form. It seems pretty much the same text as before. You know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological ele elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Is she talking to the player right now? Because, I mean, well. Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Yeah, 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 I bet you are. Uh, I read a horror. <laughs> I read a horror book once. I desperately grabbed something I can relate to at the at the minimal level. At this rate, you really might as well be having a conversation with the rock. I think you gotta kill them all. To be honest, I don't think you can actually save anybody, right? Like, you know what? I was kind of expecting her death about the be for the best friend because even if you decide to go be with her, I don't think. Who would have died? I kind of want to go back and see who would have died if I, if I, you know, just pressed, uh, yes, I want to be with you, uh, um, what, what's her name? Fuck me. I'm terrible with these names. Um, I need some coffee. I wonder if something happens if you don't touch the game for a long time. Like, I don't know, Monica goes batshit crazy. It suits her personality. Oh, is that so? Really, if the story makes me think or takes me... In, this, this dialogue feels so artificial now that, you know, man. Just so you see your best friend. <laughs> anyway, um, really, if a story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look uh, at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. Yeah, damn right, I hate <laughs> I can't get behind that. Oh, what is that? Well, I just... Mitsuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind. I feel like the moment you get involved with this. Sorry, I keep on just. I'm gonna keep on doing this. I'm just gonna keep on like speculating what the fuck is gonna happen and what the game is supposed to be. I. I feel like the moment you get involved with a girl, you fucking kill her outright. You, you know? I don't think. I don't think choosing is the right answer. Wait a fucking second. If that girl died, that means when we'll be going baking with Natsuki, nah. You left a piece of scrap paper behind the last club meeting. Oh god, what is it? it? Looks like you were working on a poem called. Don't say it out loud and give that back. Fine, fine. Natsuki, you write your own poems? Eh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? No, no. Skip reds her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Ah, not a very confident writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to its oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers. Uh, 
exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? If you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. I guess it's the same for Yuri. We all sit in silence for a moment. Hey, I just got an idea. How about this? Natsuki and Yuri looks, look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. The next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way everyone is even. Um, uh, I mean, I thought it was a good idea. Well, I think you're right, Monica. We should probably start finding activities for all of us to participate in together. I did decide... You know what? Maybe Monica is killing everybody. She's so jealous. Well, oh. I don't know, man. Like, these two seem pretty innocent girls, but she fucking knows something, so maybe we have to get close to her, you know? I need to do my best to nurture the club as well as its members. Besides, now that we have a new member, it seems like a good step for us to take. Do you agree as well, Avocado? Hold on, there's still one problem. Huh? What's that? Now that we've reached the most important topic, I bluntly come forth with what has been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. Oh no. Oh no, the drama. Monica may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and, um... I lose my train of thought. All three girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. It's way less effective now. God. Avocado, boy, just get out of there! Just get out of there! You don't, you don't want to mess with these chicks. These chicks are fucking crazy. They have the power of literature on their side. I'm sorry, I thought... Hmm... Eh? The girl exchanged glances before Monica turns back to me. I guess I need to tell you the truth, Avocado. Thing is... Oh god, she's got Something scary is gonna happen, guys. I need triple protection. We don't have enough members to form an official club. Oh, thanks fucking god. We need four... What would happen if the other disappeared? And I've been trying really, really hard to find new members. And if we don't find one before the festival... I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? I would feel terrible for letting everyone down in this situation. And besides, the club itself seems pretty relaxed. So if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls... Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girls' eyes light up. Oh my goodness, really? Do you really mean that, Avocado? Yeah. Could be fun, right? Oh! Oh, it's gonna be a ton of fun, Avocado! Fucking ton of fun! It's just gonna be roses and daisies everywhere, you fucking moron! This game, this game is gonna break me. This game is just gonna break me. It really did scare me for a moment. I thought we had to... Oh no, please, please. It's just gonna say something really sinister. I mean, if you really just left after this, I would be super pissed. Made sense when the cupcakes were there. Avocado, I'm so happy. It can become an official club now. God, I'm so fucking afraid. Uh... Thank you so much for this. You're really amazing. Ah, do not drink and continue reading this at the same time. I'll do everything I can to give you a great time, okay? Uh, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone, I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Read a poem to bring for the next to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Avocado, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> yeah. Can I really impress this class star Mon Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I already feel the anxiety welling up inside of me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit chat as Yuri cleans up the tea set. Guess I'll be on my way then. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow then. I can't wait. Ah. Uh with that, I depart the club room and make my way home. The whole way, uh, my mind wanders back and forth between the three girls. Natsuki, Yuri, and of course Monica. But someone's missing, right? 
Will I really be happy? Sorry, guys. I'm just reading with the corner of my eye right now. Um, would I be really happy spending every day after school in a literature club? I don't know, man. Perhaps, perhaps I'll have a chance to grow closer. Is there anything weird in the background? No. Thanks, God. Please. Nothing spooky. Perhaps I'll have a chance to grow close to one of these girls. Alright, let's check what my fucking neighbor is doing. I just need to make the most of my circumstances, so I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. You have unlocked a special poem. Would you like to read it? Should we read it, guys? That's a yes. Today I cut my skin open for the first time. It was exhilarating. I think I understand how mm, feels now. I'm supposed to be the responsible one, though. So I don't think I'll be doing it again unless I decide to kill myself. I left the memento on of the occasion below, so it must be the blood a bit. God, I fucking hate spooky pastas. Is that is that it? I'm gonna go with okay. Let's try to please some of these girls. We've already pleased her, so I guess we could. I just spat on the screen. Okay, let's go with Bunny. Let's go with Kawaii. Let's go with Loud. Let's go with Sweet. Let's go with uh, no Memories. That's more her. Um, Strawberry. Uh, twirl, insight, dark, anxiety, giggle, passion, cheer, fantasy, daydream, comfort, philosophy, empty, holiday, Valentine, climax. Maybe? Maybe? Uh, I don't know, guys. It's 20 words. Maybe we should make 10 words for one girl and 10 words for the other. Let's try that. So, uh... Passion, comfort, empty, Valentine's climax, holiday, philosophy, daydream. Probably daydream. No! Okay, I still need two for the pink hair girl. Color. Uh, jump. Perfect. Okay, now we can fucking start. Romance. No! Well, we fucked up. Boop. Bouncy. Fuck it. Just fucking... <laughs> I don't give a shit anymore, really. I just want to know what the fuck happens. Hi again, avocado. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! I'm not gonna run away from this timeline which is unescapable and every time confronts me with a horrible and violent death of someone that I, uh, I genuinely got, you know, attached to, but yeah, sure, sure. I, I will never run on you, okay? I just sold my soul for a fucking smile. That's even worse than the cupcake one, you know? I'm gonna take off these glasses because they're actually pretty, like, I can't see shit with them. Gonna... And it's not actually, like, attenuating the spook factor. But you might see my eyes dash to the right every fucking second or something like that. Um, yeah. Usually it's just to check out if some cat wants to come in or something. I'm actually taking care of cats right now. So, yeah, um, nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but at least I keep my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I was the last... Why is it... Have you noticed that the photo is crooked? Right? It's crooked, right? Yeah, it is. So I guess you really want to um, emphasis, you know, the sense of... Um, Oh my god. I'm all alone at home, and I live in the middle of fucking nowhere, and I'm playing this goddamn fucking game where faces don't fucking load in, you know? I need more coffee. Do I really wanna go on? Back in the game. God, I fucking hate that everything is zoomed in and crooked. Thanks for keeping your promise, avocado. 
I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment to you for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. <sighs> oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Do I have to keep on playing this game, by the way? Because I, I don't think I can, actually, anymore. <laughs> I'm still covering my fucking eyes. You can't even hear me! Can you hear me? Please send help! <laughs> yeah, we had to be dragged here by Monica. Do you plan here? Oh god. I can't do it, guys. It's just poopy. I don't have any support to continue this game. It's just not worth it for me. It's just not fucking worth it. If I have at least... 20 likes on this video, I I'll keep on playing this game. But for now, fuck this game. So, yeah! Did that creature just speak? Computer deactivated, Guana. How dare you!